Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which upon it is any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which upon it is any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Ansel has proposed an acquisition of Kimberly Clark's PPE provision. Now, Let's put this out there very clearly. It makes strategic sense because Ansel now is becoming the player in that space and all around the medical supplies. The question we're asking is, is the price right and where does the business sit? So the 640 million US dollar purchase is gonna be funded via a $263 million institutional placement, a $377 million bridging facility, and up to 65 mil on a share purchase plan. So let's look at the business. Having a look at Kimberly Clark's PPE from their CY23 revenue, which is what we get reported over in the States, $272 uh, million on rev. EBITDA was sitting about 60 million, which implies a revenue of EV to EBIT of about 9.7 times, which is not bad when you look at it. And the synergy there is going to cost you about 10 million US dollars. So overall, it expects it to be a mid to high single digit EPS accretive synergy. Reasonable deal when you look at it in those numbers. The question is whether or not the market sees it that way. And the question that's always been coming with Ansel of late is that it's in a business that has been quite gluggy, it's sticky, and doesn't have a huge amount of growth. And this is one way of doing that, is to actually start growing yourself by acquisition. So it looks reasonable in terms of what the consensus expectations are. The market also certainly thinks that it's the right thing to do. The rationale is there. But again, will it actually make Ansel get out of this sort of sogginess that it's been in because their business is becoming a little bit standard? We'll have to wait and see.